Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller. And today I have for us one of the new Hamilton Janie Taylor um, capsule collection editions here. So if you're not familiar, Hamilton did a uh, capsule collection with uh, Janie Taylor, the uh, Hollywood costume designer. And this is one of the intramatic models, uh, chronograph models that uh, was designed. There's an all gold one we haven't received in stock yet. I will certainly uh, do a video review on that uh, as soon as we have one of those. But uh, we have this in stock today and uh, wanted to share with you. So it has the traditional 40 millimeter case. Uh, it's familiar with the other intramatic models. 14.8 millimeters thick. We have a 49 point, or I'm sorry, 49 even millimeter lug to lug length. 20 millimeter lug width on this rose, kind of kind of rose pink strap. We do have a signed screw down crown. We have 100 meters of water resistance. Solid stainless steel case back. And that is housing underneath there, the uh, Hamilton caliber H31, which is based on the Valjoux 7753. Uh, biggest difference between that is the, the upgraded mainspring uh, so you're going to get uh, 60 hours of power reserve out of that movement the case is done in what they're referring to as a beige gold pvd and i think it looks absolutely fantastic it's um it's not rose it's definitely not yellow it's it, I, I think the color on it is really intriguing and frankly I, I think really could be worn as a unisex watch obviously it's targeted towards women but um, I, I like the color of it myself. You have a fantastic sunburst effect on this dial that just looks absolutely gorgeous in the right light. Probably also noticed the handsets are different uh, on this model compared to some of the other intramatic chronographs. There is no loom, and you have the brigade style hour hand there with kind of, I don't know if I'm going to call that the moon or the circle, but um, you know, obviously that is a bit different. I think it's a subtle, a nice little... Uh, you know, something different. I think it looks good. I like it. Nice frame date window at six o'clock. Still have your date change button up here uh, around the uh, 10 o'clock position. You have the snailed sub dials here with the seconds at nine o'clock and 30 minute counter here at three. Let's take a look at that. Overall, just a really nicely executed, nicely designed. Um, I love new models, and I like seeing new takes on uh, on other mo on older models. So, again, I think this looks great. Um, we do have the same matching beige gold PBD Hamilton clasp here. So, let me uh, throw this on my wrist real quick and uh, get you a quick loom shot since we do have some loom here on the outside of the uh, hour markers. Again, for reference, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. And I'll get you a quick loom shot. And there are the hour markers. So not going to help you much when you don't have hands that are loomed to uh, tell you the time, but you do have a little bit there on the hour markers. So if there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Happy to help out if there's a, a watch you want to see or a comparison I can do for you. Just shoot me an email let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.